week I made my first ever multiplayer game. I failed to actually make the game part of it. But the multiplayer part was actually went pretty well. I have chosen probably the hardest the hardest multiplayer game to remake, paper.io to remake. Um I just was obsessing over it, so I thought I would do it. And then I realized how hard it is. So basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just show you here with the real paper. So basically what you're supposed to do is that there's this sort of like look at this. There's basically sort of like this territory thing. Um and you have a certain you have a certain amount of territory and like that you can sort of close in on it to make more territory. But then other players can eat your territory, basically. But you are Mega Minx. Yeah. Because you used to be Simon. I used to be, yeah, but I changed on the third day that I, on the day after the day after that, the day that I discovered it, I changed my name to Mega Minx, please, because I really want a Mega Minx. Well, anyway. <laughs> uh, And that was the hard part, right? Because first you managed yeah, to- Yeah, that was the hard, actually the was the hard part, it still is. I didn't even succeed, but. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, look. So that guy is eating me. You see that guy? He's eating me. The Teletobies oh, guy? Yeah. And if you, and if you go through the, if you go through the other, the other player's trail, then you kill them. So yeah. And the goal is just to get as much territory as possible. So I chose this game to remake. Um, it, which I have learned was not the best thing I could choose because, because there are other games like Agar.io and Slither.io that, that are, that don't have this crazy little system here. Um, which made it a lot harder. Okay, so the problem was... that... I had this system... I needed to make this system... that, like... when I go inside of the... of the territory... then... then it should sort of... Then it should replace some of the points from the territory with the points of the trail, and that, and the theory was that I, that would that 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 would extend it. Um, I'm pretty sure I could do this, but it took a lot of effort just to make a half-arsed system that sometimes works. <laughs> um, and then I, I just looked looked up a system to do it, and then I tried that, and it actually still didn't work. Maybe I just didn't really put a lot of care into my implementation. I saw you really giving it a very thorough thought about how to have points within a polygon. Yeah. Coming up with an algorithm of that understands if a point is inside the polygon or not? No, that's not the problem. The problem is when it is actually inside of the it, when it is actually inside of the paper, it should replace some of the points with, of the paper with the points of the trail. Um, so like you can see, so if so if I cut it here, then it should replace these points. He, wait, then it should replace these points here with the trail, and I need to. Um, And I just couldn't figure out a system to do that. Um, I looked it up on Stack Overflow and I adapted, tried the solution and I just couldn't figure out how to implement it. I, like literally I got stuck, so. Cause you're thinking about marching squares or something? No, I, I, I mean I was, 
I, I thought that the trouble was actually that I was storing the paper as points. Um, but yeah, I ended up abandoning abandoning that and going for a simpler going for a simpler solution was just putting more thought into the algorithm. Um, but if I open my laptop now, can I play it? Yeah, and it'll even appear for me because it should we try it? Am I number two? Yeah. Um, I didn't actually get around to implementing like rotation and everything because currently it's the the other players don't actually rotate, they just move. Um But there's no winning condition. So we're just like dancing together. Right? Yeah. I feel like it's slowing down. Is it slowing down for you too? It is slowing down, but that's just a performance issue because because it's never clearing the trail. I think it should get it should pro it would probably get faster if you go to your paper. Just just go inside of your paper. Oh yeah. It was just because it needed to render a lot of a lot of like points and like ah. a lot of vertices of the polygon. Or a polyline in this case because it's a trail. There should be a third person because I didn't actually implement people disconnecting yet. And who is the third person? That was me from the past because I refreshed. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, that's just me from the past. Don't mind him. The third person. And what are you planning on doing? Are you have you abandoned it or? or? I don't really. I I don't really plan on finishing it anytime soon. So yeah. But maybe somebody will have an idea. I think I think the problem with the I <laughs> yeah again this was my first ever multiplayer game and so yeah and it ended up just being kind of a difficult one to implement. <clears throat> so there's just some debugging information. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> this is just complete... Did you have an idea why this is happening? Um, yes I do. Um, so the way my system works is that... I just have like... The paper is just a set of points. They're all connected like this. And then there's also a trail, which is also just a set of points. And then the player is a single point which is inside of the paper. So what is supposed to happen is that these points in here get removed. So these points get replaced with these points. So the, yeah, so the ones you crossed out get replaced. Yeah. The trouble is, um, it's just, it's not a circle. It, the code just stores them as like a list. So this is the zeroth point, this is the first point, this is the second point, third point, fourth point, yeah, and so on. So then what it's gonna cut out is everything from the Everything from the lowest number in the list that should get come, cut out to the highest number that should get cut out. So yeah, the trouble is, 
when the first point is actually in here somewhere. So if that happens, 20. So if all of these points, so if the points are numbered like this, where zero is in here, then that doesn't actually make, then that doesn't make sense. Then, then the code will trip up because the lowest number that needs to get cut out is this number, and the highest number that needs to get cut out is this number. So it's gonna cut out everything from here to here. Yeah, that's which what is, we just saw happening. Which is exactly what shouldn't get cut out. <laughs> so if the first point is, is not in the region that should get cut out, then everything's okay. But if the first point is in the region that should get cut out, then the code trips up, so that's a bit of a problem. Wait, what? And is there some kind of solution? Like, uh, if zero is one of the points, then do that? The trouble is, I have no easy way of checking which one is the correct one. Because... I could, I suppose, check like the surface area of the polygon and check which one is like the higher one, but this is not even a polygon. Like what? Also, if I do this, then that's just a like if I cross myself like this, then this will happen, and it's not even a polygon anymore. Like, what? Um, the way the game handles this is actually, is, is actually just take advantage of the fact that there needs to be a way for players to die. Um, and just like, if you cross your, if, if a player crosses another player, including themselves, then they just die. So, so if I cross myself like that, then I'll just die. So I can't cross myself. But if I don't cross myself, it still behaves a little bit weirdly, so I'm gonna need to fix that. Do you have an idea how? Oh yeah, the green dots and blue dots are just debugging information, by the way. Do you have an idea how to fix it? I, I, I mean, I, ha I pretty much have too many ideas how to fix it. All of them are kind of difficult, so yeah. <laughs> so is there a chance that You'll never fix it. <laughs> I mean, there is. <laughs> it's already been a pain in, pain in the ass to check if a... It's already been a pain in the ass to check if, to check if the player is inside of the polygon. And also to actually, like... Yeah, and it's even more of a pain in the ass to actually, like, insert <laughs> the trail into the polygon. There are three lines. Yes, that's a bug. Oh, I know why. I think the culprit is this. Okay, yeah. So let's run it again now. Why does it always give a third play? Why does it always spawn two of them?